and with all these selected one two three four five six seven uh, hold down shift if you want to go ahead and select it with this tool and not drag um, <clears throat> Hold down shift to do that, and we're going to pull out our Pathfinder tool. Window Pathfinder, where are you? Pathfinder Control Shift F9. I don't know that one by heart. I don't need to, usually, I just have it hanging here. And go ahead and use the first one, which is Unite. And now you have just one full solid color. And we're gonna drag this up. I'm gonna drag that oops up one layer. And we're also gonna control shift left bracket. And with that, my good friend, with everything on this layer selected, we by the way, just so you know, it should be this rounded corner one that we expanded here and that should be directly behind it and with all of those selected and you go ahead and click minus front don't need it right now let's focus on what's really important so we're gonna go ahead and get our jewel layer I'm gonna do a little effect for this Effect, stylize, inner glow, opacity 81, blur 14, from the edge, color is white, preview, and looks okay. Now I turn on the one that we have here with the rounded corners here. Turn on this one across. And what are we going to do here? So we select all these rounded corners here. And we're going to let's group them. Control G. Actually, we're going to go up to transparency. And we're going to set that to multiply. Like if you take our diamond edge layer and turn the light on, it should fit and change only those light edges. All right. Now we're going to work with the translucency of the jewel. Uh, the fact that you can see through it a little bit. It's not just solid color and it has uh, a back edge to it. And we we'll actually got a layer for that. And it's this one. It's locked. So let me unlock it. Lock all these up. All right, so we got this uh, the gradient set up here. Give you a quick overview of what the gradients look like. Circle here, circle here, about this big from this point out. Circle here from this point here. Circle here from this point here. Circle oval. Uh, remember adjusting that little point there allows you to make the oval a little bit thinner or whatever. This is probably not that important on this part but uh, I still did it here to here going up and on this one from the center here going out with a light spot and now what we're going to do is we're going to add a inner glow to this part the back of the jewel but we're actually going to make it darker but the effect is still called inner glow so effect stylize inner glow 40 37 a dark blue colors R3 G15 and 66 for blue and then you can just apply the last thing when you want to apply it to each individual one <clears throat> all right now that we have that uh, this setup outer inner well, actually inner glows set in for all these shapes here and we have the gradient set we're gonna go ahead and set that to color On the transparency panel, let's set the transparency down to uh, let's say uh, 60%. So now we're going to go ahead and go with our jewel layer and go ahead and make that visible. And above that, we're going to put 
the layer with the rounded corners. And above that layer with the rounded corners is this layer with the uh, with just the edges available. You know, so I just unlock it and select it. But I'm actually gonna edit that a little bit, so I'm gonna double click it. I don't think that tip looks bright enough. It's like a light pink. It since it's the focus of the light, it should be nearly white at least. So go to that particular one, select it, double click it. Um, in this case, I don't like to mess with these RGB sliders. I actually like to change it to the hue, saturation, and brightness mode, which is up in the top right corner. You can switch that at any time in the color mode over here or however. And then just move the saturation up, even though the brightness is already set high. You need to desaturate it so it looks brighter. And there you go. You've pretty much got the jewel done. The star tool should work. Um, I'm just going to drag anywhere. Control and drag. You hold down control, you make the points bigger. And you can make it uh, that big looks like a good ratio and get this a uh, gradient in there so it's going pink and it's also going low in opacity and we're just gonna have that go from the center of this that's the center right there even like that Let's shrink that down holding shift control C control F now hold down shift and um, you can make this one slightly smaller holding down alt will keep the center point the same holding down shift will constrain it go ahead and group those two put it right there the size is really up to you on what size you want it to be and if you want you could put more in other spots by the way let's say you do want to add more focus points of light for this thing you can actually double click it so it was a group so double clicking it puts us into isolation mode it's got one fill right now did you can press add new fill button which is the little white box next to the add new stroke button in between the FX menu button. Add that. Make it, you got a gradient here. We're just gonna remove this. Make it a white to white gradient with the second one being completely opaque. It's gonna fade from white to nothing. And we're gonna turn, make sure that's radio. Then we're going to pull out a little gradient thing, but this time we're going to put a little shine there. And, you know, just, you know, add uh, adding like extra little points of light uh, going from wherever to wherever. So adds a few new fills, and that's all available in your appearance panel, which is probably one of the most powerful panels in Illustrator. One thing, don't really need to cover this in the video, but if you zoom into this corner right here, it knows that it does have a corner. It really shouldn't. So you can later on go ahead and edge off these corners a little bit. They shouldn't be completely... Uh, I don't know how you say it, completely sharp like that, just kind of cut off. Yeah, I believe you can do that using the scissors tool if you have everything selected. Now beyond that, that is it. That is everything that is required to make this star or shine light and the uh, jewel, the Chaos Emerald. Tails and Sonic would be proud. Thank you for tuning in. If you have any comments, please leave them.